guys, two nerd girls are back. Uh, I didn't miss that. <laughs> we had a couple, few month, uh, three month, four month, I don't know, uh, hiatus, but you know, yeah. no TV was on. And honestly, a lot of the <laughs> After the watched. American Gods, we were just like, so nah. And we watch different things. Yeah, I watch so. a lot of anime. Right. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of anime <laughs> on Netflix, just like one. that There's the Fate one. There's a Sinbad one, which I thought, I'm, this, I'm not going to like the Sinbad because of the name. I really liked it. And there was this, uh, this demonic exorcist one, which root with really hot anime like, oh, demons. Oh, more, more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I tend to watch more, I guess, mainstream stuff. Like, that's on, like, uh, I could do a whole show just on This Is Us. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I know. I, I think she would like it. But, but, but one show we can agree on is the gifted because we're both X-Men freaks. Mm -hmm. We love it. X-Men, Marvel, DC. <laughs> and we were we weren't sure if, you know, cuz you never know. Sometimes, you know, you love a universe, but the show or movie just sucks. So, um, I actually started watching it and I actually really loved it and I was like and then uh, Faith hadn't even heard about it, right? Mm -hmm. You were like, what? There's an X-Men show? <laughs> what? And so I was like, yeah, I think I'd like it. And so we binged. We are all caught up. So we're going to review episode six, Got Your Six. So, <laughs> what'd you think? <laughs> well, since I binged watched all of them, I, I think the whole season of <laughs> just episode six is so great. I was gonna say it probably all meshes for you, okay? But I this love is the one. Magneto lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Polaris. Polaris, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's cool that she can make herself fly with yeah, her boots that was and really her cool. bracelets. I like though though the dynamic between her and Fred. <sighs> I can't, Screw can we just Angel, agree Fred. to call that character Fred, because that's all I think when I see her I from, 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 Angel. from Angel, yes, slash Buffy. Um, but I did like that, you know, because you get it, like, she's a mom, so she doesn't know, like, why are right. you trying to teach kids battle? But she, right. Polaris is like, are you, or what world are you living in? Because, right. uh, you had an incandescent life and up yeah. until now where kids aren't hunted because they're different. Right. It's like, and we're being hunted, which means now your kids are super powerful and they're going to be hunted. So they better right. learn how to defend themselves. Not to defend themselves, but fight to get freedom. So I like that. Yeah, and I think it was really terrifying seeing their one friend, um, he's part of Hound, right? Is oh, that the name of the research right, that they, they got? Sure that the mutant that had yeah, so done an experimentation on. I know you don't watch on. Vampire Diaries, but he's Matt. And he's it's all like seven seasons of Matty. So whenever I see him, I'm like, Matty. Oh. oh. I was like, he's got a cool skill. Oh, but they <laughs> fucked him up in the head to go to the dark yeah. side. I thought it was crazy that the, the father's leg screws. I know, they're still <laughs> out. And he's still he's walking, walking around. around. It's like, is anyone going to give him like some surgery? His knee wife, surgery? that's a Fred, that's a nurse, is like fixing everybody else. And I'm like, just pop I'm a pretty couple. sure those pins being out, it's really bad. I know, like, it's like his leg is just, the bone is just going to I know, it's like jut out. The actor is being accurate by limping all the time, but I'm thinking, did he really need those pins? Because uh, I know, it's, it's like, oh, there were extra pins. I just kept him in there. Yeah, um, somebody oh, needs to fix his leg. There is one thing mm -hmm. that the one thing that kind of bugged me because I, I I watched the first episode with FM to to get to see if she'd like it, and now knowing because now you've seen all the episodes uh -huh. and you know how Polaris stops all the bullets, yeah, because they're metal. Do you remember the first episode when they're shooting at them? She doesn't. She doesn't mess the bullets at all. She's all ducking and like hiding oh. and whatever. And I'm all like, it's like they were saving her power to show us like the extent of it later. But when you watch it over again, you're like, why the? Fuck why is she just she like stopping the bullets? Like she makes like the 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 cars you know move and throws in things like that in the metal. But she does not stop the bullets at all. And now that's her go-to in every episode. She stops bullets. So yeah. why didn't they do that in the beginning? It's I guess because he would have got that... shot. Because remember he got shot in the arm. Right, and the light comes out. And there's out. no way he would have gotten shot in the she arm. She would have let him. She'd be like, mm, yeah. Mm. No yeah. bullets. Mm -hmm. Like she's been doing the whole season, except for that first episode. And then I Sounds think cool. the the major cop guy whose daughter died. I think right. after the first time that she 
stops the bullets and then throws it back on everyone. Yeah, why would he aim guns I, at them anymore? Like, and, go. Because then the second time she comes up and she scraps his gun, he's like, ah, yeah, the gun's metal. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> maybe rubber, you should some, like, uh, rubber plastic bullet, or... plastic. Or... Like in the X-Men movies, they have Magneto in just like a plastic hanging cell right. in the middle of, like, the high security. Yeah. So I'm just like, you guys just, I don't know. I mean, out in the open, there's nothing they can do. But yeah, you think they would have like fiberglass, or a bat. Metal, you know, they did those fiberglass guns. You know, yeah, have those things. Anything so. but metal. When they know that they're going to deal with the queen of metal. Yeah. Eh, just a thought. That's all right. A thought. We forgive you. <laughs> it's still we, fun. X Men and superpowers. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. And I'm still going to watch it. That's true. That's the thing. I'm going to be like, oh, that's cool. That makes no logical sense. They should have done. But that's all right. That's, that's fine. It's Sorry. all right. Keep watching. But you know what? The thing about The Gifted is it does feel like one big movie. So right. it is kind of sometimes hard to differentiate each episode, especially since it's you're only getting a piece at a time. So And you think of for me I always think of X Men in in a sort of movie yeah. way because that's how it's always been for me. So Yeah. It's like you get these little movies. Little movies, yeah. It might almost be better to be the kind of show like like Stranger Things or something where you just watch it like all in a row. Yeah, it may be better to binge. Yeah. Although you may notice things like the bullets and stuff. Yeah, you I may know. be like, why? Oh, wait a minute. Why? It was like why? four episodes ago. <laughs> but overall, we love the show. We yes. cannot Keep wait for the next X -Men episode. making X-Men stuff. <laughs> just all the X-Men and superhero Marvel shit you can shove down our faces. Please do it. Okay. I just love superhero it. garbage. I just love it. <laughs> Good, bad, and okay. I want to see people fly around and shoot stuff out of their hands. <laughs> that would be awesome. Because it would be awesome. Well, thank you for joining. And if you like our channel, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.